Hey everyone, today I'm going to clean the Rover, the 2953 Rover in the Hawthorne. And the reason I'm going to clean it is because if you notice, I didn't wear these in the rain, or maybe it was just about to rain, I can't remember, washed my hands, got water on the, on the boot itself. But if you notice, you see these little speckles that have kind of stained the boot, stained the leather. I sprayed these initially with a leather protector and um, not really happy that that happened, these little speckles. So I'm going to use what's recommended. Red Ring recommends Nubuck suede cleaner, mink oil, and then finishing with the leather protector. What I th think I'm going to do, I know this mink oil is definitely going to darken the Hawthorne. I'm going to initially try just the eraser and the brush and see if it gets these out. Now this is a crocking from denim, which I don't mind. I don't mind that being there at all. I kind of like that on the leather. I think it looks pretty cool. But these other spots, I definitely do not like. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the brush and eraser from here. And what they say is uh, lightly rub the edge of the suede bar back and forth in several directions over soiled area for deep stains and marks apply more pressure causing the suede bar to crumble and increase its effectiveness for stubborn stains wet both the suede bar and the stain with clean water and repeat rubbing action let them dry then rub suede bar to remove water spots so let's just start with just rubbing these water marks and see how that goes. And then maybe, depending on how it goes, I may put this on, but I know it's gonna darken them. I don't really care if these get dark, too dark, because I have um, the round toes in, uh, not in Hawthorne, but I have them in Olive, and then I have them in the Albaline. So I don't mind if these get a little bit darker, just so that they stand out more. Definitely the boot is looking lighter with this but I don't know if that's just the white that's being applied or if it's actually picking stuff up but we'll see I after you I used this once before on the um, Spitfires because I took the Spitfires to the dog park and it was quite muddy and the dog was um, stepping on my boot and initially I just threw water on the on the leather and once it dried I thought that was good enough and then I rubbed my hand on the boot itself but once it dried, the dirt was still there, so then I just uh, applied this um, eraser onto the Spitfire leather, and I was able to remove the mud. So let's just see how this looks with just, I'm gonna brush that out and see if that worked. So it looks like there's a little mark here, but the ones that are up here are gone. So let's tackle this little piece here and see. And this one looks a bit more stubborn, so we may have to wet the, the leather and the brush. Let's see how that looks. So basically I did like half of that. You can kind of see the difference. Let's continue on. It's basically just the toe of the boot that's kind of got wet. I can't remember what I was doing. I don't know if I was... I know I try not to wear these in the rain for this reason um, or if I just washed my hands or was washing dishes I can't remember and then got the boot wet I have not tried this on my 8013s I'm sorry 8113s I have not tried this on my 8113s That looks pretty good. It removed all the stain, the water stains, it looks like, or watermarks, I should say. So for this little one here, where did it go? This one here. But for the most part, that's pretty good. You can see. That's interesting. Huh. Let's try this one now. 
wonder if you can you tell yeah you can see the marks so mark there marks all along here mark there it's just like speckled so let's attack this and see how we do I'm I have like a pretty uh, aggressive amount of pressure um, applying to the to the boot while I'm working this eraser and you can see how the edge has kind of got curved a bit curved so I am applying quite a bit of pressure. So that looks pretty good. I can say I'm pretty pleased with that. Those removal of those. So I think what I'm gonna do since I didn't get any, there's not really any staining on this side of the boot, although it is a bit lighter. I could just run it through around here and back here, but I'm not, it's actually like in pretty good condition. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna attack this part here a bit cause I still see that little mark there and maybe I'll wet this a bit and then um, see if we can get that removed. Unless it's a crocking from denim, but I don't think it is, but we'll try it. So I wet the eraser and now I'm just attacking this little spot that was kind of left over. You can kind of see like right these two spots that this is that it's just very stubborn uh, parts of the boot. I wonder if it was oil. If it was oil, then that's not good versus just water because those watermarks came right out without any issue whatsoever. But if this was um, some kind of grease or oil, then that's going to be a bit different. I may have to try uh, flour or some uh, cornstarch or something to get that out, soak that in there. Because it seems to not be coming out. We'll let it dry and we'll see what the next step is. Okay, so I had the boots dry a bit and that stain still seems to be there. And so what I think I'm gonna do is just, uh, just also because I'm really curious, as I'm just gonna apply mink oil all over the boots. And let's just see how it looks. I'm very curious, kind of excited about it too. I kind of have an idea of what will happen uh, as far as like certain kind of markings, I'm excited to try it and to see how much detail changes on the boot and um, if I like it because there will be other Hawthorne Red Wings out there that I will get and as over time as the boot ages, I will do different things. Okay, so let's just get uh, some of these little dust bits out of the tongue. So with the weather changing and becoming nicer, I will wear these more and more. So it's one of the reasons why I'm taking these out and uh, doing this. Because the last time I wore them, I got those markings and I just took them off and put them aside for that reason. But all right, let's apply the mink oil and see what happens. All right, so let's start with this one first. Man, I know it's just gonna, I know it's gonna be dark. I just <laughs> woo. Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, again, I apply with my finger because I just just what I do and I think the heat in my hand. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. Oh my God, look at that. It's not too too bad. It's cool looking though. So, what? What happens, which I was told, is that you get dark areas in the boot when you apply the mink oil. And it kind of, I mean, it looks really cool. I'm not gonna lie. Like, you definitely lose that light Hawthorne color, but at the same time, this is really neat looking too. So, 
I, I'm not gonna go as crazy thick as I do with like um, some of the other leathers. I'm just gonna give it a quick once over. But um, see, look at that. That got darker there. Son of a gun. I don't know what that is. That's must, it must be grease or something that I got on the boot. But this is pretty cool. I would think, I was thinking about doing this to one of my, to the Albaline round toes that I got. Um, but I wasn't sure yet, but I was thinking about doing it. Cause that would turn them into basically Hawthorne. And I don't have Hawthorne round toes, I only have the Rovers, which I could convert, but these have a heel counter, um, external heel counter, and the um, the round toes don't. So it would just be changing the the sole, and I would get rid of the um, speed hooks as well. Look, ee, that's crazy! Look at that. So this is like before mink oil application after mink oil application. So yeah, this got dark. Damn. <laughs> it's kind of like, let's see, it's a little uneven over here, but that's what happens. So you see like any kind of, it gets these, basically you're just adding character to the boot. You know, you're, you're coating the leather at the same time. If you go heavy or light, you're basically just adding like Wow, I don't know. Ooh, I don't know, I don't know. It looks cool. It's just dark. <laughs> but now for sure, if any kind of water hits it, it's definitely not soaking in when you throw mink oil on there. It's probably just gonna roll right off. So if I did this to my uh, 8113s, which I have not done, I, I think, I don't even know if I've taken this, the eraser to them. I kind of just let them do their own thing. Um, I think what I would do is I would just buy another pair of 8113s and then just apply and see from, from the jump, maybe, and see how they turn out and see how they look and then keep the ones that I have. Cause the ones that I have just have over time and wear, they've kind of um, have their own kind of characteristics and markings. They definitely have some crocking from denim on the 8113s, but these I don't really wear that much. I'm wondering how these will look once they these dry. I'm wondering if they'll get lighter or if they'll stay kind of on the stark. All right, so that's the application with the mink oil on the Rover 2953. Cool. So then the, the next step, I'm gonna let these dry for a little bit, and then the next step would be to spray them with the leather protector. So let me let these sit and dry, and then. I'll apply this. Okay, these have dried for a little bit and now I'm going to apply the leather protector on the Rover in Hawthorne as the final step. All right, now I'm going to lace up these boots. So I started with uh, some green Benjo laces that were in here and then um, I'm gonna put in some blue. These, these were flat. Uh, laces and I'm gonna put in these blue uh, work boot laces that are available on uh, Benjo's and it's like a blue with like a gray a hint of gray uh, braided in there in the boot which I think would look looks kind of cool on that Hawthorne I like the way the uh, blue looks on the Hawthorne
Okay, so there you have it, the Rover conditioned with mink oil. Definitely got darker. Still working on me to see if I like it or not. And it's still very tacky, so <laughs> we'll let that dry a bit. There you have it. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, be a boot. See you guys next time.